Well, hello, people. I'm back. Well, my hair is still sticking up a little bit. But anyway, um, as promised, I'm going to do my second video. Alrighty. So we're going to get right. I'm going to get right into it here if I can get things situated here. That's strange. I never. It's funny. I never. Sometimes I'm not prepared. I don't have everything ready. That's all right, though. Okay. The name of the po poem. I must be getting tired. It's about uh, 25 minutes till 9. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the name of the poem is Free Indeed, Under the Influence. And then, Can a Christian Be Possessed by Demons? I know. I already know the answer to that. I mean, <laughs> from what you... Those of you that have watched my videos, I've talked about demons and things like that. Also, I want to welcome my new subscriber. Praise the Lord. Just hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. and Because I am still new at this. I started doing these videos back in January of this year. And I'm still new at it. But God is teaching me. The Lord is teaching me. Okay? So, bear with me and stay with me and as I tell my other subscribers stay with me on my journey because I'm doing my life series I'm in the process of doing my my life series too as well so alrighty now on with this okay so get your Bibles and if you have to pause me then pause me okay alrighty we're going to be reading out of John chapter 8 verse 36 okay John chapter 8, verse 36. Alrighty. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Alrighty. Now, then we're going to turn over to Mark. <clears throat> Mark chapter 5. This is Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. Verses 1 through 20. Okay? Alrighty. And one, and they came unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the uh, the Gadarene, the, the Gadarene, I think it's Gadarenes, I think. Two, and when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Three, who had his, his dwelling among the tombs. He lived in the cemetery, in other words. And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. He lived in the cemetery, yeah. Four, because that he had been of, at, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man, any man tame him. Five. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Six. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. He bowed down. Seven. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus? Okay. Thou son of the Most High God, I adjure you thee by God, that thou torment me not, or command. 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. 9. And he, Jesus, asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Yes, there are, there are lots and lots of evil spirits. Yes. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. In other words, begged. He, he begged the Lord to, 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 to send him out in the country. 11. Now there was there now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. 12. And all the devils besought him or begged him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them. Demons into the hogs. And that's why that a lot of people don't, don't doesn't eat ham because of that. Of course, that, that was way back all the years ago. I mean, but centuries ago. But Anyway, okay, 13. And forthwith, Jesus told them to leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd 
ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand, and were choked in the sea. Fourteen, and they they that fled, they that fed the swine fled and told fled and told it in the city and the country. In the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was was that was done, or what was happening. Fifteen, and they and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil, and had the, the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Sixteen, and they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. Seventeen, and they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. Eighteen, and when he was come into the ship. He that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. 19. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath had compassion on thee. 20. And he departed and began to publish in, in the Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him. And all men did marvel. Matthew 8. Verse 16, 16, when the, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. Matthew 9, verses 32 and 33, 32, as they, as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. 33. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, spoke, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. Matthew 17, verse 18. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from, the, from that very hour. Okay? Now, Mark, chapter 3, verses 12, verses 12 through 15. All right, 12, and he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. 13, Jesus chooses his disciples. And he goeth up into a mountain and calleth unto him who he would. And they came unto him. 14, and he ordained 12 that they should be with him and that he might send forth to preach. Appointed them, you know, to preach. 15, and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. Authority. Over demons. John, okay, now then, John 10, 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Same as a thief and a robber. Alrighty. Verse 4. Verse 4. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him. We are the sheep. Jesus is our shepherd. Or they know his voice. Five. And a stranger will, will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of, a, of strangers. Nine. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, in, enter in he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find, find pasture, or be nourished. Be nourished. Ten, the thief cometh not, but for, to but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and, they and that they might have it more abundantly in fullest measure. Alrighty. Mark 5, 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Okay, now, summing this all up. Summing, summing this all up. Okay. There, okay. Okay. Demon possessed, deliverance, and discipleship. Number one, there really are demons. Number two, they do enter people. Three, Jesus really does cast them out to be under the power of a demon. Can a true Christian have evil spirits? The answer is yes. And we're up to almost ten minutes. Yes, I know all about the evil spirits. I've been... I've been in, 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 in 
an atm atmosphere where the evil spirits were at were were. It even makes me jittery. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. It makes me jittery even talking about it. One place where where um, I lived. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it tonight on on here, but. Uh, my own father, my own dad, was possessed. He was a new convert. He was a new Christian. And I've told some of the other subscribers that are still with me, they know I, I, told, I, I mentioned it before, how my dad got the wrong spirit. It's very easy for the devil to come in. And a lot of people say, no, if you're a Christian, you can't be attacked by Satan. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Even more so, when you're when you're Christian, and that's where the discernments of spirit, the gift of knowledge, and the uh, prayer language, the speaking in tongues, all that plays a part. The discernments of spirits is the main one to learn be to be able to learn with what is evil and what isn't evil. I mean, I could tell you a whole lot, like I said before. I could do I don't know how many videos concerning the evil spirits. There are many, many demons. There, there's many, many demons. There's the demon of lust, the demon of alcohol, demon of tobacco. Many, many hundreds, hundreds of demons. Oh yes, yes. So that's that's the this is the second video, and we're all, already up to almost 12 minutes. To 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 my new subscriber that you may not know. I can't do over 14, not, sometimes if I do 15 minutes, I'm even cut off. I don't know why I can't do long videos. I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't been on YouTube long enough. I don't know, but it cuts me off. Sometimes it cuts me off. It's right at 14 minutes sometimes. But, um, but anyway, uh, maybe I, like I said, I haven't been on there long enough, but may God richly bless all of you. I love all of you and come back and see me. And to, to the new subscriber, please stay with me and bear with me too. Bear with me, like, like, I've, like I've told everybody else. I'm, all, I'm new at all this. I was raised up in it because my daddy was a minister, was a preacher. I was raised up in it. But it's, since it's me doing it, <laughs> it's something new. It's, it's new. And I, I have to learn. Then the Lord, like I said, the Lord is teaching me. The Lord is teaching me. So, again, I love you all. God bless you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Feel free to leave me comments, and I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. I will answer you back. So I'm going to go for tonight. because it's, Now it's 13 minutes now, so I'm going to go now for tonight. And I hope everyone had a good day. Again, I hope everyone had a good day. Stay blessed. And so I love you all. All righty? Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night.